Hi friends, it's Bob and Fran, healthy aging authors and coaches and plant-based foodies. We love to eat and you're gonna love this video because Fran will share with you three of her easy, what I call Frantastic <laughs> soup recipes. So we love eating and we love our soups and Fran loves cooking easy recipes. So these are great tasting and very nutritious. And by the way, you might wanna make some notes. So Fran, what's the first soup you're gonna be talking about? Okay, the first one I wanna tell you about is what I call marvelous mushroom barley soup. Actually, I gave the name marvelous know, to this recipe, I, I think. <laughs> So it's a pretty, uh, I love, I love mushroom soup. So yeah, and one good. little tip that I want to give you before I get started is when you make a pot of soup, you may want to freeze half of it so that down the road, you will have another meal made already. Yeah. So here, here's what we do. So it's eat half, freeze eat, half. Yeah. Good. Okay. So the ingredients are one onion, two stalks of celery, two cloves of garlic, two carrots, one pound of mushrooms, whatever kind you like, and a half a cup of either soy sauce, tamari, or Bragg's amino acid. What do you usually do for that? Whichever I have on hand. Okay. One cup of pearl bailey, <laughs> pearl <No>. barley. <laughs> Don't put the singer in your, in your soup. <laughs> I love it. A half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and eight cups of water. And here are the directions. You simply chop up the onions, garlic, celery, and carrots, slice the mushrooms, and saute all of these in a little water in a soup pot for several minutes. Then add all the remaining, remaining ingredients and bring to a boil. Reduce the heat, cover, and simmer for two or three hours. That's it. Pretty simple. Wow. I love that soup. And uh, I love the taste of barley. Yeah. Barley yeah. is barley's like really good for you. Very healthy green. Yeah. It's very nutritious and very filling. My next one is instant pot lentil soup. Now, if you don't have an instant pot, you may want to consider getting one because it's really a great tool to have for plant-based cooking. Can you but make, you can make this oh in a regular soup pot. I was going to ask you. But I'll give you the directions for the Instant Pot for now. The ingredients are a quarter of a cup of vegetable broth, or you can use water, mm -hmm. half of an onion chopped, four cloves of garlic minced, a half inch of fresh ginger chopped, Mm -hmm. one hot green chili chopped, a half a teaspoon cumin, a half a teaspoon turmeric, one teaspoon garam masala, a half a teaspoon dried thyme, a half a teaspoon black pepper, 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes, three quarters of a cup of sliced carrots, three quarters cup of green or brown lentils, two and a half cups of vegetable broth, three quarter teaspoon salt, and two cups of fresh baby spinach. So first you set your instant pot on saute, add a little broth, and when heated, add onion, garlic, ginger, chili, and a pinch of salt. Cook for three minutes. Add a little more broth if needed. Then add the spices and mix them in. Then add the tomatoes and cook for two minutes. Add the lentils, carrots, broth, and salt. Mix it all real well. Close the lid and set the pressure to 15 minutes. When it's reached the 15 minutes, let the pressure valve release naturally. Then open the lid and stir in the spinach. Very simple and really high flavor. 
what I would suggest you do is take a little bowl and put all the spices in ahead of time so that when you add it to the soup, you've got it all done already. You don't have to add each one separately. That simplifies Yeah, it makes it really easy. Oh, okay. I'm hooked on those lentil mm -hmm. soups. They are so high Again, in flavor. Mm -hmm. Really, really tasty and freeze half. And it's good for you. <laughs> yeah. Very nutritious, Very totally plant-based. Right. Hi, friends. Just a quick break here. Bob and I are very concerned about the dangerous chemicals in our drinking water and how they can ruin our health. So for several years, we've been using this convenient and economical AquaTrue tabletop reverse osmosis system in our kitchen to transform our tap water into filtered and purified water. No installation or plumbing is needed, and the result is pure, delicious water. So we urge you to click on the AquaTrue link in the description below and see for yourself how this can add so much to your healthy lifestyle and longevity. Please invest in your health now. So now the third soup, I think is one of my all time favorite soups. You know, uh, we spent a lot of time in Asia, Southeast Asia, especially in Vietnam and China and uh, Thailand and Cambodia. And uh, we discovered a Chinese soup. We call it the Shanghai hot and sour soup. I know this is a really easy one. For Very you. easy. What does it look like? If you've ever been to a Chinese restaurant and ordered hot and sour soup, uh, you probably know that it's made with fish sauce. So obviously it's not plant-based. So this is an alternative, a plant-based version and so full of flavor. Yes. And so simple. I'm crazy about this one. It's simply two cups of vegetable broth, one cup of water, four ounces of extra firm tofu. And there is a kind of tofu out now that is super firm. And it's not in water. It's, it's in a cellophane package, but it's pretty uh, water-free. So it's really, really firm. We like that a lot six ounces of shiitake mushrooms, three tablespoons of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of hoisin sauce, a half a teaspoon of chili garlic sauce, an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper, black pepper, three tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce, three tablespoons of cornstarch, three tablespoons of water and chopped green onions. And here's what you do. If you don't use the um, really, really super firm tofu, drain and press the tofu that you use and cut it into three quarter inch cubes. Slice the shiitake mushrooms into strips and set aside. Bring the vegetable broth and water to a slow boil in a soup pot. Then add the mushrooms, tofu, soy sauce, and hoisin sauce. Stir and simmer three minutes. Then stir in the vinegar, chili sauce, and pepper and simmer two more minutes. Before you're ready to serve the soup, because you could really make this and set it aside, but if you do that, before you're ready to serve the soup, whisk the cornstarch and water in a small bowl, add it to the soup and stir until it's well thickened. And then garnish with the chopped green onions. It's that simple. So there you have it. I love that soup. It's really, really good. Tonight. And it's great for leftovers too. It, it reheats real well. That's great. So there you have it, three different super soup recipes with different tastes, textures, and smells. Mm, they're all so good. We'll be posting these recipes on our website in the description below, all written out for you for your convenience. So friends, give Fran a thumbs up, maybe two thumbs up for her easy soup creations. And please leave a comment and be sure to subscribe and get notified to get more videos like this one. And of course, we look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.